Howdy guys, I'm Nefolo8, your favorite Wolf Row enthusiast, and welcome back to Fire Emblem The Lonely Mirror. Uh, this is an FE8 hack made by Gladrius, and today it's time for Chapter 27, Crossroads. It has been a hot minute since we've gotten back into this game, and I don't really know why. <laughs> We're almost at the end, I might as well just, you know, sort of finish it all up as soon as possible, because no point in waiting at this point. We've got so much, um, so much left to discover in the short amount of time that we have remaining with the game. Uh, time for the story. Were you successful? Yes, we were met with a uh, resistance, but ultimately we prevailed. Very good. This cave is actually an old trade route that was once used by the Chakota Republic in Burga. If you follow it deeper, you will surely meet our uh, allied Bergen forces. They will esc escort you the rest of the way. There's one thing you should know, your Senatorness. <laughs> I have spotted enemies waiting in ambush using my supreme scouting ability. I suspect there are, I suspect there are even too many for my brother to handle. Hmm. I expected pursuers. It must be Quinn. And we should remain vigilant. I'm afraid so. There may be other entrances to the cave, unknown to me. At the very least, I will stay behind and secure the entrance. I may be old, but I can still delay any unwelcomed guests. You've been a great help, your senatorness. <laughs> That's a great phrase. And why not help out a little more? Here, take this. I think you'll need it more than I do. We are in your debts. Ooh, Atalanta. Hmm, I recognize that name. Extended bow range. Oh, okay, it's a 2-3 range S rank bow. Very cool. I'll just send back the male rapper for now. I guess I could have sent back the bow. It's not as though that Boone can use it. Also, how odd. The senator giving the donation to us. We are... I mean, I don't know. Something, something, constituents, whatever. We've been walking around this cave for hours. It reminds me of a time I got lost in Amatona's catacombs. Oh, right, like chapter two. Or what's chapter one? Either way. The one after the prologue. Um, or par par prologue, yeah. Are you sure you know where you're going, Boone? Relax, princess. Don't you feel that draft? Oh, a draft. A Fire Emblem, the Lonely Mary draft. How interesting. That would actually be a lot of fun. Uh, it means we're close to an exit. I just hope it's the correct exit. We'll be greeted by Lord Shane in no time. Oh, cool. Don't worry so much. Yeah, I guess we will be seeing Shane. It's been a while, actually. We haven't seen him since, um... Well, it's, it's, all, it's always been in the story, apart from that one time where he was uh, an enemy briefly. Lord Quinn, it's just as you anticipated. We have confirmed sighting of the White Lions. Senator Rizzo was a fool to underestimate my, my tenacity. There will be no room for him in the world that I intend to create. Bring it to me, I will have Curve's horn. Alright, short, short and sweet, like, can't really expect anything else. He, he, he has his goal and he's gonna go for it. It's them. The enemy has found us. Prepare for battle. Uh, and just when things were looking up. Huh, but if we make enough noise, we may attract the attention of the Burga army. My thoughts exactly, Joseph. This is hopefully our last battle over the sacred in instruments. Wishful thinking. Stay strong, everyone. Alright. Come on, brother, where are you? Alrighty. Apparently Shane is going to be a big, like, important unit in this chapter, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see, we're slightly split apart, but it's no big deal, really. A little bit of water. Yeah, still sort of the FE6, I think, style cave. Um, I hope that there won't be, like, poison, but these sorts of, like, things in the walls may indicate as much. I guess we'll see. Um, let's have a look. Some more promoted enemies. I kind of like to see that. It's nice to see... You know, bigger, bigger diversity and promotion. Uh, and the boss, Quinn. Senator of Winma. He has a str he has strong ambitions and greed for power. Also has the Tubal Cane. Blade of Argom banishes demons. Very nice. We're going to be getting another S-rank weapon. Huh, that's, uh, that's really neat. The, I don't know, it seems like this region has all of the legendary weapons, right? Like, we've got, well, Amanda's still alive and she has the S-rank axe. The guy who just gave us the S-rank bow. The one dude who unfortunately perished, had the S-rank tome, or S-rank anima tome anyway. Um, I guess Boone has the lance. I don't know if there's going to be another one. There probably will be. But, like, this region seems to be, like, the place where all of the weapons are contained. And that's kind of, like, weird that all the power would be centralized like this, but I guess it's fine. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's see. I guess I will do my preparations, and then I will be right back. Alright, I do believe I am ready to get into it. I do have a couple of things to give out, I think. I'm going to give out this Speedwing over to Sersha. Um, it was between her and Boone. They had the same speed at 19. Um, and getting to 21 actually lets you double some enemies in this chapter, so it would have been nice for either of them. Um, but Boone has a little bit more power behind him, whereas Sersha, you know, she needs a little bit of extra help, so I might as well just give it to her. Plus, she's got the Wander Pairing. Um, just a very nice 21 speed for both of them. I'm pretty happy with it. They also both have 17 strength. That's, uh... Kind of adorable. <laughs> um, anyway, some other stuff I wanted to do. Um, right. This one's important. This one is something that we've all needed for a long time. 
I'm going to be promoting Grant, even though I won't be bringing him along. Um, I'm going to turn him into the Halberdier because that's no longer a thing in the newest patch. We just get to see how it looks and stuff. Um, I'm not actually sure why Halberdier was removed. I think it's a pretty cool option. Um, I am aware, though, that it removes a little bit of constitution, which is a weird thing that it does, but it gives a 3 speed, so it's like, it kind of trades off, although I don't know how much I enjoy it. Um, it makes him very much a smaller boy in exchange for what really doesn't matter in terms of speed, like he's just going to get weighed down by the Steel Lance now. It's not, the good, it's not the best promotion for him. If you're going to use Grant, you should probably just go general with him. Or in the, new, in the new patch, you might promote him to something else. Also, oh uh, wait, before Atticus, we also have Travis to promote. Travis is a very important one as well. He can go between Gold Knight and Flame Knight, so we will be going Flame Knight with him. Um, this would allow him to use um, Fire Magic as well as Swords. Very cool promotion path for him. Can't really go wrong with um, the various types of like magic, especially Fire Magic. It's just a really, like... Fire magic's the highest damaging one, so it's it's just good to have for damage output and stuff. Uh, plus, it's effective against, I believe, wind. I think it's wind. Um, and oh yeah, Atticus. Atticus is the final one. Um, so Eli Eliza and Miles are both really cool. Um, they both have very distinct upsides and downsides over each other. Eliza's just kind of the better unit, and Miles has the supports built. Um, and as such, I still might bring Miles to this chapter, I don't really know. But I was thinking, maybe I could bring Atticus and promote him into a Whisper. That way he has pick, and um, that way we don't really need lockpicks or anything. We could just use him for um, stealing and whatnot. He's got enough speed that he can steal, I believe, generally speaking. He might not have enough uh, speed to steal everything, but he's got some pretty good speed on him. It's actually, well, I think um, Miles might have a little bit better, th better speed than him right now, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Whisper's a cool class, though. It's basically just a reskin of uh, the Rogue with different animations, which, you know, I'm fine with. Um, I don't know. Miles might just be the better unit to bring, because I do have a lockpick here. I could just trade that over, and then give him some different equipments. Um, as much as I like Atticus, this, the supports, whoops, the supports from, um, from Miles would actually be kind of nice, and there are only two chests that I, that I made note of uh, to steal from. And I didn't actually look through the enemies to see if there's anything to steal. There is a blue gem. Hmm. There is a blue gem. How much speed is on that guy? That might be kind of important. Yeah. Okay, so we can't steal that if we use Miles. Flame Lance. I am down to get another one of those. Steel Blade. Okay. Um, of course that one. Is there anything else? Hmm. There, there was a, a... Yeah, there was an elixir, but I don't really care that much about it. I guess I'll have to look at it. Um, yeah. Everything... I'm gonna bring Atticus this map. It's... You know what? I'm gonna bring Atticus. I'm gonna have my fun with him. Uh, I haven't used him in a long time. I'll start bringing Miles again in the future, but for now, I'm just gonna bring him along. Whoops, didn't mean to give him that. Uh, I'll just give him the stiletto and the... I think I have a silver knife somewhere. Yeah, there it is. There we go. He should be... He should be just fine. He has some combat options, even though he probably won't be making use of them. Uh, he's not very strong. I very much enjoy Atticus, but I think that from now on, my thief option is almost always going to be Liang, because he's just a stellar unit all 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 around. He can even steal and um, and pick as a ranger, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I believe I'm gonna take a short break and then we'll get into the map. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's let's get into it. This is it. I'm I'm ready to get back into this game. I've been looking forward to this one. Uh, reinforcements will continue to arrive for 12 turns. Hold out and defeat them all to win this battle. Okay, uh, so it's a 12 turn... Oh, okay, it's a route map. Okay, so for 12 turns, we will have a lot of reinforcements, more or less. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so, right. Immediately what I want to do is steal this chest with, um, with Atticus, but I do also want to take this guy out pretty quickly, if at all possible. My only options for getting rid of him are, um, well, Sertia with the, with the Florette, I think. Uh, so here's hoping that this hits. If not, I have the Dancer. I would also love a crit. Nice. Good job, Sersha. Very good job. Starting off strong, this, um, this map. I, I was looking around this map, and I was considering how, like, enemy placements are, and how, um, just how well everything is working. This, oh, Rescue Staff. That's really cool. I'm really glad to have that one. Although, um, she can't quite use that yet, I think. Yeah, not quite. Um, but yeah, I was, I was just looking at this map, and I was, like, I was pretty amazed by how how, how consistently this game has super intelligent, like, um, placement of enemies and whatnot. Like, um, one game that I rag on a lot for its unintelligent, unintelligent enemy placement is FE7. 
also nice crit there, Wanda. Um, is F, F, like FE7. It's uh, I feel like the enemy placement in FE7 is just really poor all the way around. Um, and I feel like some hacks also suffer from the same thing in certain places. But this that's something I've never really felt with this game. The enemy placement has always felt very intentional. It's never felt like sporadic or as if like enemies are just there for the sake of being there because of because of the map being built a particular way. It's always felt like the enemies and the map were built in in unison, sort of like like. So one thing that I do when I make maps and whatnot in Fire Emblem is I will build the map first, um, sort of try to go for the aesthetic that I want, uh, and then I will place the enemies. And if the enemy placements and the um, and the units don't quite align with each other, then I go back and tweak the map a little bit, or I'll, I'll move some enemies around, you know. It's sort of like a back and forth process, and I almost feel like this game sort of handles the same way. Um, it never feels like enemies are just placed for the sake of being there, as I said, uh, which is definitely something that I... I'm a little bit sad to see in many hacks, or in many in many games in general. Okay, we'll trade this over to Boone so he doesn't get bodied by uh, that that dude right there. We won't be able to catch this guy right yet. I don't I don't have another I don't have another um oh what's it called one of those sword reaver thingies. I don't have one of those anymore because I broke it. Um, so I don't know. We're gonna have to work around. Ooh, they have their support. It's probably just gonna be the placeholder. Sylvan and Pepper, a support placeholder. Very nice. Really glad to see that one um, coming to full effect. That, that's full defense for, um, for Sylvan. That's the double ice with his anima. So yeah, that's full defense. He's getting plus five defense from being next to these guys. That's five defense and res. So he's basically unstoppable. That's also full crit avoid, I believe. Yeah, full crit avoid. So as, essentially 25 extra luck on top of his 10. He's never getting crit by anything. He actually negates um, killing edges entirely now. Um, and then of course we do have the amulet for Boone, which I've, I've just left on him because he's, you know, he's got low luck even though he's got the supports to, to back him up. I didn't, I just kind of didn't have the placement or the, the space for it on anybody else. I also gave Winifred the Atalanta. Um, it's more or less just a better version of the Great Bow and the uh, Long Bow, but you know, always glad to have it. I'm gonna send Wise up this way by him, or not Wise, um, Joseph up here by himself. Uh, probably throw the wind tome on him for now, and we'll send part body. Well, I, I need to send part body this way to collect a rune. Um, and I guess we'll see how it goes. Boone should have this on wrap or on lock. Um, but as I was saying much earlier, the uh, the enemy placement just feels good all the way around. Like there are obviously some placements or some some enemy placements placements that are there for aesthetics. Like I feel like these heroes are probably there for aesthetics, but they still work like as an enemy placement setup. Um, ooh, that was a lot of crit. I didn't check that one out. I guess it is Berserker, I should have known better, but, yeah. Either way, just, you know, reforming the map as necessary, not, not like getting, not falling into the trap of, oh, I've already made the map and I shouldn't have to tweak it now that I've, you know, decided that my enemy placements aren't exactly ideal. Okay, Meteor Tome, that's fine. I'm fine with Meteor Tome. Of course, he does have the amulet as well, so there's no crit <laughs> associated with that. Um, that's fine. Ooh. Oh, that's Amanda. Yep. Anger, frustration. Those white lions have disobeyed me for the last time. Now I'll show them their uh, show them their graves in an efficient manner. Okay, so we're gonna have to defeat her. Um, no doubt about that. We'll get the Lord more as a result of that, and she no longer gets the stats. And I'm assuming that she won't get the stats for doing this. Um, we're gonna have to be pretty intelligent with how we take her on, though, because we're gonna have to defeat her before she equips the Lord more, or else we're only gonna get the Silver Blade. Um, I do actually kind of like that. That's um. That's pretty neat. That's... I like how that was done. Uh, okay, so, as for flying stuff, we could just send Wise over this way with Joseph, and I think that wouldn't be the, the worst option in the world. Um, I wonder if he can kill that unit with, uh, with the Axe Reaver. Uh, just short, but, like, if I, if I send her this way, then that would be fine. Um, however, I don't really think I want to do that. I think I'd rather have her head on up this way, perhaps kill this guy. And then we can block off with other units. Ooh, we can't actually do that. Oh, well. New legendary weapon works. Let's do it. Atalanta. Ooh, sure shot. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much not cheapest to use my, my legendary weapons. It's it's part of the fun, you know. If they end up breaking, then they end up breaking. That's just how it is. Um, I, I, I will, of course, try not to break them, like outright break them, but I'm going to make use of them for sure. I, I have fun with my legendary weapons, regardless of... Um, you know, how limited their uses are. A very nice pierce. Okay, so we should be able to kill that guy now. I think he's a bigger threat than the, uh, than the, uh, sword one. Let's see. Boone could potentially do some good damage there. Um, I wonder if she can reach the thing from here. Okay, so we're just out of range. There's a strike rune up in this area. Then there's also a fire rune over here, I believe, somewhere. 
Um, I might skip the fire rune, it's not super valuable to me right now. I believe it's just a fire tome, but like souped up a little bit. Um, that is to say, like, it doesn't, it's not affected by the whole, uh, like, weighing you down thing, which she's not really affected by anyway. I've, I think I've given her a con, or a body ring. No, no I haven't, but she's still not really affected by that that much. Um, she's basically already at the point where she's not really going to be doubling that much, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. Okay, Silver Axe on you, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade a, an axe with... Uh, yeah, I'll put the Silver Axe on him, and then I guess Wise is just going to get bodied, probably. Um, can you survive? No, there's no way Barbody's surviving that. I'll just hopefully not die here. I'm probably going to, but here's hoping we don't. I don't know. Um, I might have... Maybe I should have pulled out the Tomahawk there, just to see if the damage would have been enough, or if the, I think, 5% attach crit rate would have been enough. I know the Spear has 5% attach crit rate, but I can't remember if the Tomahawk does. It might not, I might just be misremembering. Uh, anyway, let's see. We could do something like this, we could potentially see Atticus attack, it's in full range of the Dancer, so... Might as well see what's up with that. Um, only 4 damage, unless we Stiletto, in which case... I think I'm just gonna throw this, and that way that's enough damage for Leah to, to get the kill. Plus, ooh, that is a nice animation. I am very happy to see that one. Um, that's a really cool class. I, I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Let's see, and then Silver. Silver does it, but so does, so does Slim. I want to see the Slim one in action. I really enjoyed Slim weapons throughout the duration of this game. Seriously, one of the best uh, implementations of them that I've ever seen. I really, really dislike the route that most hacks take of just giving them like 115 hit or something. It, it, it's completely inconsequential. Like, a weapon with 100% hit, you're not missing with that, especially as a sword user who, you know, sword users quite typically... Oh wait, I need to keep you alive because the whole... yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, in that case, I'm just gonna send Wise around, or Joseph around this way. I mean... He's probably fine. How much damage is he taking? Uh, 24 plus 13. So that's, what, like 37? And then he's taking... Okay, so he's taking 26 damage from that, so he would die if he, if he stands in range of one of these guys as well. Ooh, a halberd. Nice. Um, yeah. I also have really enjoyed this hacks placement of um, effective weaponry. I feel like some, some hacks place effective weaponry in a way that is just sort of like meant to inconvenience the player, which is, you know, not exactly my favorite thing for potentially obvious reasons. Um, like obviously in this case, it's to pre prevent you from, well, the hunter's bow in combination with the halberd and probably in combination with the, with the aura tome meant to keep you from just rushing ahead with your cavaliers and uh, clearing the map super fast, which is something I quite enjoy. Um, so yeah, we'll take a drop, and then run to right here, and that way Leah's going to be taking some damage. Well, she probably won't be. She'll probably dodge. Quinn isn't very efficient. He should have lowered the secret bridge, bridge to give chase. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like how that works. Um, I could see an argument for that being ambush, but it's no big. Uh, by, the, by the time that we... well... She wasn't in range of the chest. Also, Wise is super dead here. He's gonna get bodied by the Meteor Tome. Probably gonna have to reset. Big darn. Um, but we would have gotten... I think she wasn't in range of the um, the treasure chest, so I think we would have been fine, even if we were still over there at this point. Um, yeah, she wasn't quite in range. Please dodge. Okay, I mean, it doesn't matter. Wise is gonna get bodied. There's no way he's holding up against um, a Meteor Tome. Oh. Oh, right. Effective damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, please dodge. Yeah, there we go. Now I don't have to reset. Thank you very much, Joseph. It's probably better that he went for Joseph, because Joseph would have had the higher dodge chance. Okay, and here he is. There's Shane. Just as I suspected, there are others in pursuit of Kuro's horn. Riders of Burga, today we aid the White Lions. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so these guys are sort of weak, except for Shane. Here he is. Um, I guess since we're, like, well, he's looking pretty good. I'll just go ahead and read off his growth rates. Like, we're gonna recruit him. Um, if that wasn't obvious. Uh, his recruitment people, I think, are um, Joseph, I think. It might be Joseph, it might not be Joseph. I know for sure it's Boone. No, 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 it's it's Boone, Wise, Wanda, and Tanya. So I'm going to try to do this with Wanda, since this is the one particular use that she'll have. Um, but anyway, Shane is looking pretty good. 19 power, 15 speed doesn't really matter that much since he carries the Brave Axe. He gets weighed down by a little bit too. He has all the defense in the world. He's a very strong unit. Uh, however, I think that I am sticking with my boy here through thick and thin. He's been here with us since the since the well the mid middle portion of the game. But either way, uh, anyway, Shane, his growth rates. Uh, let's see. He has 80% HP, 65% uh, power, 30% skill, 25% speed, 
30% luck, 40% defense, and 15% resistance. Um, he does very much look like he leveled up off these growth rates. It seems as though, like, yeah, this is this is how he leveled up off his off these growth rates. Um, starting from a level one wyvern all the way up to whatever promotion level, and then a level ten dragon master. This seems about correct. He his speed is like kind of impressive considering his growth rate. Um, and I guess we will potentially see more out of him. He has ten levels to grow. Imagine if he got speed on every level following this. This would be. A crazy unit. He's almost like armor, armor knight level defense. I can see why people are, like in the story anyway. I can see why people are very keen to, um, you know, hype up Shane, uh, nobleman and the leader of Burgess military. A charming perfectionist. I do quite like him. He's pretty cool. Uh, however, I don't think I'll have the deployment spaces for him. That's that's bad. But like that's that's how it's gonna be. Um, I'm I would let Wise get the recruitment, but. This is literally my chance with Wanda, and that's something that I've been waiting for. Let's grab this blue gem. Probably kill this guy with Lael. Or Lael? No, no, no. No, no. We're not bringing Lael. We don't have Lael. Lael is only here if she's necessary. That's that's the extent of it. I will say that Lael is like one unit that I, I, I will complain about at length. She's not exactly a unit that I care for that much. I think that she would be very easy to fix, personally. Although, um, this would be completely up to creators of the hack and whatnot. Gladrius, just to, you know, perhaps take my ideas and warp them in some way that fits the fits the game or not at all like it's completely up to them however they want to insert from my ideas but like one thing that I think would benefit Layla a lot is um so like you know in Sacred Stones how after the route split um Erica and Ephraim sort of like if they weren't level 10 or roughly around that level before they left they will level up to somewhere between 10 and 15 depending on where they were um I think that would be a really good thing for Lael, considering that she's gone for so long and that she comes back super underleveled. Especially if you didn't use her like I did. Like, um, that way you're not punished for not, like, heavily punished, I will say, for not using her. And then, um, when she's back, like, you know, she's probably gonna be pretty vital. She's probably gonna be an important unit. Um, also I didn't mean to not move her, but I guess it's fine for now. Um, Wise, or, yeah, Wise's brother Shane, he'll be fine for a couple of turns, I would say. Um, let's see, we can just kill this guy free of charge, awesome. Good to get the Meteor out of the way. The meteor Tome was very scary, especially considering that we uh, literally almost lost the big man, Mr. Joseph, over there for it. Uh, very, very lucky on that dodge. Alright. Okay, I was hoping for more speed so that I wouldn't feel uh, as bad about giving away that speed wing super early, but it works out. Uh, let's see. So, this guy has... Okay, so yeah. I think he's gonna... I think that this guy's gonna end up going for one of the Wyverns, because, you know, they don't really have that much res, and anybody that has more than three res will be fine. Um, I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful with Wise, but I think this is gonna be okay as long as I stand here. Sort of block this off. I mean, this is a sword and a an axe, so I guess what I'll do... Hmm. I guess I'll just shoot this guy with, um, with her. Use the Great Bow? Ah, I don't want to use the... I don't want to use the Great Bow right now. Maybe. I'll just break the Strike Rune. Strike Rune. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna be getting another one, literally, right now. So this works out. Pretty cool weapon. Um, break a strike rune, strike rune to get a strike rune. I have so many runes that I just need to use. That's just a nice feeling. Uh, I have so many runes that I need to use that I just haven't gotten around to, most unfortunately. Alright, cool. Kill for Pepper. I always like to see Pepper in action. I do like the uh, the female Berserker model. I wonder if this one's completely custom to this game or if it's one that's on the repository. Because I haven't seen this one, if, if it is. Or maybe I have seen it and I've just forgotten. It could be either one. Um, I'll use Silver Axe just to negate any bit of damage that I might take. Probably would have dodged, because Sylvan's a beast, but that's just how that'll be. I really do enjoy using Sylvan, he's been probably one of the most fun characters I've ever interacted with in a Fire Emblem hack. Um, let's see, let's not stand in range with that, with Joseph, but still block off. Uh, we'll use, yeah, we'll just use Wind. We're almost at S rank, so I would like to get there very soon, and um, you know, have everything in order. Do this, equip Silver Lance, and Elixir. Um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so this guy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, can attack to here. Um, I'll just stand here, to be on the, uh, I'll just stand here, that way we sort of save our body. Okay, that should work out, that should be good for this turn. Um, of course Wanda is moving in on us, but we do have, well, to be honest, we have, um, one Miss, um, Wanda back there with her Flame Lance. I'm super glad we're getting another Flame Lance, it's a really, really fun weapon to use. Um, 
the idea of a weapon that just attacks on res, although, like, of course, limited. Um, not to the same extent as most weapons, of course, because you could have bought them. Um, still very limited in its, you know, in your ability to get them. It's a very fun weapon. Um, I, I kind of wish, one thing that I will say, is that I wish that the effective weaponry wasn't as limited. We got the one hammer, we got, I think, a halberd and a horse slayer. If I'm not mistaken, I might be. Um, but we haven't gotten very much effective weaponry so far. Um, apart from, like, the Milarepa, the, you know, the, the, the weapons that make sense to be effective that are, well, effective. The, uh, Milarepa and the Enboon's new PRF weapon. Ah, uh, that guy's super dead. Yeah, that makes sense. And then this one's not dead, but it's gonna get the kill. Cool. Pretty cool green units. Um, I might just go ahead and recruit those. Yeah, with all these units coming in, I don't want to waste time with Wanda too much. She's... Ooh, drain room. Cool. Um, okay, that works for me. Let's see if Wanda is capable of doing this now that he's got a sword, or she's got a sword equipped. Um, so I could do this. I think that would actually be fine. 7 times 2, so 14, and then I could do this. Flame Lance, potentially. Okay, yeah, Flame Lance. So let's say I do this 4 times after the Dancer. This works. This gets the kill. Um, that would be 24 times 2, and then if I... Yeah, if I do the Floret with... Um, I could even use Leah. I don't even have to use the Floret. I'll just use Magistra, and we'll see how this goes. It's your fault for disagreeing with me. Um, ooh, a crit. Very nice. <laughs> Very convenient, actually. That'll, that'll make it so I don't have to dance for Wanda, but I'm still going to. I'm going to dance for her and rescue away now. That's the simple solution. All right, good job, Wanda. You get the you get the Amanda kill. Oh, I was hoping for the crit to end it off, but we might still get one. I guess we'll have to see. I do like her animations; they're very nice. Flame lance it up. Ah, anger, frustration. <laughs> well, rip Amanda. Um, Amanda was a very she was a very interesting character to interact with throughout this game. Yeah, anger, frustration. I think that's about I think that's about correct. And there's the Lord Moore. That's going straight to Sylvan. Very, very, very cool weapon. Um, I think these weapons are all going to be effective against monsters, which is kind of cool. Uh, it will only be two times effectiveness, of course, because that's how legendary weapons work in Sacred Stones. Uh, let's see, take uh, take Leah and drop her. We'll do. I guess we'll just use Silver Sword, that works for me. I think that guy's got a Halberd, so I gotta be a little bit careful anyway. We'll just use Parvati for this, Parvati being one of the more fun units that I've really ever had the pleasure of interacting with. We'll see if we can get a crit. I need to use up runes as much as possible now. I've got so many that I haven't used. Um, using every bit of the runes that I can is gonna be very nice. Like, it's, it sort of goes back to the same, the same idea as using, um, using legendary weapons, like, there's really no point in holding off on the fun weapons, because otherwise you're just gonna end, end the game with a full convoy. Or, uh, a convoy full of weapons that you haven't used, which is kind of a bad feel. Um, if this is gonna be the case, though, I'm probably going to... Probably gonna have to do this. I don't know if I'm gonna have to rescue her back, but I'm going to have to do something differently. Um, I wonder what Pepper's res is. I know it's, yeah, it's a little bit better, so we'll do it like this. We'll kill this guy with Pepper, and then I'll, I'll throw Sylvan up there as well. I don't have a hand axe or anything on him, so I'll just leave him with a bow equipped, and maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and they'll attack, they'll attack him with his bow. Um, because I do know that enemies like to prioritize not taking damage instead of, well, really anything else. I'll go ahead and promote, or not promote, I'll go ahead and get Shane. Shane? <laughs> Wise brother. Ha, huh, you're looking pretty muscular. I can tell you haven't been messing around. What are you talking about? Of course I am, Messing Accounts. I'm not you. Uh, am I going? Uh, am I going to hear stories that I don't want to hear? Probably more than one. Well, you're still alive. I should be thankful for that. Enough of this lovey-dovey stuff. Prepare for battle. I will prove once and for all that I'm the best. That um, you can't be serious. Well, I kind of said I was the best at everything. I have to prove it, don't I? Tell you what. How about we go around after after we mop up here? For real? You're the best. I <laughs> love you, bro. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they don't hate each other, apparently. Like, I know that there's some resentment in the form of, like, oh, you are pretty, um, definitively better in many areas, but, you know, I honestly, if, if I'm being straightforward about it, I do think that Wise would still get bodied by Shane just because of his defense and the fact that he uses axes. Um, even if they went lance to lance, he's got less attack and defense. Um, very unfortunate, but, you know, I'm fine, I'm fine with this. Let me, uh, grab a hand axe or something. Hand axe, I'll throw a javelin and an iron lance on him. 
You can just see his attack animations. I'm gonna have to go back though, or else I'm not gonna have them turned on. Uh, let's see. I'll grab the same weapons though, even though I know that it's not exactly ideal to use the um, to use the the thingy there. I think I got javelin and then iron lance. I guess I can just use the javelin. Yeah, we'll see that. Ooh, interesting. Uh, his palette's a little bit like off, I guess, but that's fine. Nothing really too concerning. Uh, let's see, can we bait this one? I would really much, very much like to. Uh, she would be my res unit. Drainer is not gonna come into play unless, uh, it somehow got more damage than the Bolganone, and it won't, so that's fine. Uh, let's see, so could we... I wonder if those count as items instead of as weapons, because if they do, then they would be stealable, right? Hmm, interesting. That's, that's... That's, an, that's a prospect for sure. Let's uh, hold off on that and see if that's the case, because I would like another drain room. I am never opposed to some Nosferatu tanking, especially with Parvati. It's very fun to do so. Uh, let's see. So following this, we do have some enemies up here that I will want to take care of. However, that's pretty much up to Boon. Um, wind Tome? Uh, not quite. Oh, Wind. Works for me. Works for me. Very much like the El Wind Tome. Seems like the Elwyn Tome is the most reliable of the, uh, the magical sort of like weapons. It's got pretty high hit, hit rate, a little bit less damage than the Elfire Tome. Well, it's actually the weakest of the tomes, but like that's the trade-off for having more hit rate, I suppose. I'm always fine with weapons like that, though. It gives you a pretty strong, you know, plus or minus, so to speak, in terms of what you want to use. Um, I will say that it is a little bit strange to me that the fire tomes, like, they are the strongest, and that, that by itself is a pretty, like, pretty big reward. Okay, good dodge. Um, that by itself is a pretty big reward, but the, uh, the diversity in abilities that the, um, that the wind and thunder tomes do in being effective against flyers and dragons, respectively, that's a pretty big bonus. Um, Okay, so for 12 turns, we're going to be facing enemies. Bolt Rune on this one, 15 speed. I guess we can test that theory right now. Okay, so you can't steal them. He does have the speed for it, and he doesn't have a full inventory. Um, so we, we are going to have to get out of here with these two. We'll just go to right here and dance. I am enjoying this map, I'm going to say. I ordinarily don't enjoy, like, cave-type maps, but this one has been a lot of fun. A lot of enemies to take care of with, uh, you know, pretty consistent backup and whatnot. Um, let's see, do I need to, I do, I do need to rescue her at least one space, so I'll, I'll do that. And then, hmm, let's see, do I have a halberd on hand? I don't think I do. Well, I could do it like this, I could put her, what do you have, Nosferatu? Witches do have high crit, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful of that, although, I think with, um, with Sylvan I can negate all of her crit rates. Let's see, I'll stand on this tile with the dragon axe equipped and then stand like this. I guess I shouldn't complain too much about the um, the lack of effective weapons, because we do have stuff like the Dragon Axe. We have like two of them, I think. You know, given um, dragons are already like, you know, there's there's there are answers to dragons everywhere. Between Thunder Tomes, Dragon Axe itself. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay, take and run on up here. Drop off the dancer. I guess we'll be making our way in this direction. Um, and I can take my flyers and sort of keep them right over here. And that way they have the option to fly up, but they don't necessarily have to. What do you got? A great bow? Do you have a great bow? Silver bow only. Okay, so in that case, I'll stand here and here. And that way they have the option to go up if they, if they, if they end up wanting to. Um, could use the Onoris, but I don't really have to. I might just break the miller up here. This might be the time for it. Um, if it's going to be anywhere, then it's going to be here. I don't think it'll even break necessarily. Unless I use it on this guy, but I'm going to use it on the Cav. Um, not that I necessarily have to. It probably would have would have been better to just go ahead and break it, but I didn't need to. Millerep has been a fantastic weapon, and it is a shame that I'm not going to be hammering it, but that's just how that's going to be. Okay, so she is the res one, I believe. So, well, sort of. 14 res, you have how much? So, 22 power. Um, 22 damage, that is. Are we able to just kill you? We are. I could just use the Atalanta. Um, and I think that would simplify my life quite a bit. Let's see how, how bad it is. I'll just use the Atalanta. I think this one has 2-3 range anyway. Yeah, with the Obulus. Um, if that's gonna be the case, they're going to they're, they're going to attack at one range. One range with Nosferatu. 
you know, if that ends up being the case, I can just back up and kill. Please crit. I would love a crit. Oh man. That way I don't have to waste weapon uses and stuff. Um, yeah, not at all ashamed of using it though. I very much love my effective, or my, um, legendary weapons. It's always nice to have extra power. Okay, so you are the res one, I would say. Nope, <laughs> wrong again. Uh, we'll have Parvati come down this way and sort of help out, and I'll leave Zersha, like, here-ish. Um, I wonder if Parvati would have been able to pick him up. Does she have 8 con? Nah, 7 on both. Okay. Um, that is one thing about this game, though, is I have noticed a lot of con. Okay, well, we're gonna get close to breaking it. Probably won't be able to now, since I can't double with it. Um, I mean, I can still break it and stuff. But yeah, one thing I have noticed is a lot of units have similar con. Um... I noticed that in the early game as well. It was, I think, um, Atticus, Leah, Parvati, or no, Atticus, Leah, somebody else. It might have been Brett's. Yeah, a bunch of people had the same con, so it made rescue strats a little bit weird. Also nice, zero hit rate. Very, very nice. She will, of course, double, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, effective weaponry is some of the most fun in Fire Emblem, hands down. That's probably part of why I've enjoyed the sacks so much. I was, like, harping on there not being many effective weapons, but there have been a very large amount, I will say. Um, okay, so I guess you're priori prioritizing using uses as my best weapon. That makes sense. Enemies do that sometimes. Uh, please crit. Darn. Don't crit on the second hit, then. It always happens. Every time. That always happens. That's guaranteed. If you, if you want something to hit, if you want something to crit on the first hit, it's always gonna crit on the second. Oh well. Oh yeah, that guy's super dead. Yeah. And as for no survivors, this man's dead. Dead as heck. Um, but that's fine. We can just kill the sniper and then everything else is fine for Boone. The man's a champ. He's really got nothing to worry about. I can probably use the Onoris on that Cavalier if I have to. Ooh, very nice. What's going on up here? We have more Cavaliers. Um, I can use the Onoris on him. Uh, the Chuck Morris. And then I can just... Silver. I could, I could break out an axe. I don't have to have the Millarepa on hand. Um, we'll just break out the axe. Hopefully kill this guy. If not, it's no big deal. Well, very, very fun. Love these animations. Oh, I will say that I kind of wish that the uh, the critical hit animation was more similar to the... Or I, I wish that the attacking animation was closer to the, the critical hit animation, because that one is a really, really fun animation. Kind of like plants the axe in the person and stuff. It's really cool. Okay, if I, if I put Wise here and then kill this guy, then Joseph will have the power to kill the other one. So this works for me. Really, really loving the map layout. Unless you make good use of your flyers, even though it's not, like, super huge or anything. Um, okay, good level up. I like speed. Would have liked more power. That's one thing that you could use a lot more of is power. Sort of make it so I don't have to use silver weapons for every kill. Um, but this is fine. Tornado. Um, please don't miss, because otherwise you just die. It's never a good idea to attack flyers. Or, never, never a good idea to attack archers at two range with your flyers, but... Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's just the play. Um, they're probably both gonna go for Wise, because Kek W. Kek W, double, double the defense and using an axe, and has more power compared to literally Wise. Hmm, I could instead use Shane for this, although I would be standing in range of stuff at that point. I guess I'll put Shane here, grab a different axe. Um, I guess I can use this silver axe, that's fine. He's not going to take very much damage, he's almost as good as Boone, which is kind of crazy. Um, in fact, he has more, well, just a little bit less defense and power than Boone. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So I can kill this one with her. So close to the damage necessary. I'll just get up this way. I'll probably rescue Atticus up there. Um, as for these guys, I guess I could use Wanda and Sersha. Yeah, I could do that. Um, let's see. Let's assume that this hits. I'll say it's 14 damage. Yeah, this is gonna be a kill. If it hits, this is still a kill. Um, by 1 HP, yep. It's probably gonna hit, too. Oh, cool. It didn't. Yeah, I basically just consider 50% hit rates. 50% um, 50, 50 and above hit rates is going to hit, because that's just how the RNG is. 2RN makes it so much easier for those things to hit. Um, I don't have to worry about this one right now. Of course, he does have Silencer, but it's no big deal. Um, it's not like he's gonna crit me and then get Silencer. And if he did do that, then I would just- I would have to laugh about it. Cause that'd just be too good. Um, I guess what I'll do is put on Javelin and Florets, and that way he's forced to attack at, um, at a range that benefits me. Okay, and then two mages. 
Uh, let's see. I can get out of range with you. Can I one-shot potentially? No, not really. Uh, I guess I could Great Bow instead of Atalanta. Yeah, that works for me. Um, and I am... I am... Oh, I was gonna say, if I do miss, I am I am safe. It's just a little bit weird. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll send... Let's see, do I have a Lance Reaver on hand? Not really. I guess I'll kill this one with her. I could just use... Nah, I could just use the Devil Axe. Um, but I would die. Or would I die? I would probably die. Or would I die? Or would I? Don't. Don't do it. Okay, cool. Don't crit. Do not. Don't crit. Awesome. Devil Axe is a good weapon. Always make use of your Devil Axe. That was such a bad idea. An unbelievably, unfathomably, unfathomably, unfathomably bad idea. But I had my fun with it, and that's what matters. If I had to reset for that, it would have been less fun, but it's fine doesn't really matter that much. Kind of matters quite a bit, actually, but it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's just the Devil Axe. What, what, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, let's see. So one downside of having my healer as one of my more combat-ready units is that she's sort of out of the action and unable to heal as much as I would possibly like. Uh, I'll just put on Shine Tome for this. Yeah, I'll block him off just in case. I, I, yeah, he's not in range, but... Uh, let's see, you have the Axe Reaper, so I'll, I'll do this. And that should be fine. I'll just use Sun Sword because that's fun. I'm probably gonna go for Leah, actually. Yeah, unfortunate that we get uh, attacked due to a miss, but that's how it's gonna be. Oh, very nice. It's almost as though we never miss in the first place. Although we still did miss because, you know, that's just how that is. Uh, right, so, yeah, he's fine. He's probably gonna body this guy free of charge, and then the other one's dead, too. Okay, that's fine. A lot of weird misses, but that's fine. Uh... And then this one's dead. This is 100% dead. There's no surviving. Yeah, he's going to just get chopped in half. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Nothing is, is as fun as Sylvan right now. I will try him as Berserker one of these days, but I am very, very sold on the current class. Uh, right, Silver Axe, that makes sense. I guess that, yeah, that does make actually a lot of sense. He would have died otherwise. Um, never mind, he's still going to die, because he still gets doubled, because Steel Blade is heavy as heck. That makes perfect sense. Oh boy. Okay, so... Yeah, that one can't reach. That one's going to attack Wise. Perfect. Yeah, why is it going to body this guy free? Very beautiful. Very much loving how this is playing out. It's always, it's always fun to one-round enemies. Um, as long as it's not the whole game, of course. There have been enemies where we haven't been able to one-round them. Um, but for this, for our purposes here, this is fine. Shane even gets in on the action. We probably won't be seeing him in future maps, so this is... This is fine. Seeing him, you know, get some fun kills. I, I've always enjoyed the Wyvern Lord animations. I always enjoyed them as a class. And now that they can use axes, they're especially fun. Um, don't... Don't do the crit, please. Actually, uh... 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 Oh, oh okay. I... Don't worry about it. It's fine. I promise. It's okay. I, I didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. Also, that is going to be, yeah, a mountain terrain. Of course, Wanda's still a champ, so she doesn't care. Please get power. Please get power. Please get power. Okay, you know what? If she got full defense level up, I'm okay with that. Um, that was almost really bad. That was almost extremely bad, actually. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, or Slayer Silverbow. Interesting, interesting indeed. I guess I'll have to go here with Florette. Um, so you can move how many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you can attack to here. Um, hmm, how much? Okay, so I'm just gonna do it like this then. Uh, do I have the Physic on hand? I don't think I do. That's one thing that I should have brought. Uh, very much should have brought. Let's see, I can kill this one with her. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then potentially kill another one with Parvati. Please hit, though. I really, really want this to hit. I have a lot of issues going on on this side of the map, and I really need to get through, through some things. Uh, the Halberd guy is actually not that big of a threat overall. Um, I guess what I could do is I could just rescue and then run away. And that would work. Um, are you in range of anything if I leave you here to kill this guy? One of these guys. Uh, Jakota Dark Griffin. Um, interesting. That's the first time we've seen one of those, I believe. We'll just Dragon Axe. We could even just step away and Hand Axe, and that would get the kill. And that also gets us another Flame Lance. So I'm super down with that. 
Also a level up for Pepper. Um, get some get some strength. Strength is one thing that you need very badly. A full defensive level up. I was not expecting you to get defense at all, literally ever, because it's such a low growth for you. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll attack like this and then rescue away. That sort of covers all options, just in case we miss and everything. Perfect level up. A lot of level ups. What are we getting? Strength, please. Ah, it's a good thing I gave her that speed wing, because she's not really willing to level up speed by the look of things. Okay, let's rescue and get up here. I could even bring back Wise, uh, or Shane, because I ultimately do need to get through this guy. Um, it doesn't really matter that much, I think. I'll do this. Yeah, I'll Brave Lance. I'll, I'll do that. That's the good option. Um, and then maybe use Shane to kill the other one, or... I kind of want to use Joseph just because getting um, getting S rank in and win magic would be cool. That would be fine. Let's see, can we do that? Uh, we can get the kill, only with Tornado, but if that's going to be the case, that's fine. I could just use Nosferatu as well. However, it is an 80% hit rate, so I do not trust that to hit literally ever. Uh, so we'll just torn Tornado. And then I'll use, um, I'll use Shane to drop uh, Sersha, I think it was. Sersha. I'm really looking forward to playing this game again. I always say that as soon as I start playing this game again. I don't know why it takes so long to do these episodes sometimes, because I have an incredible time with this game every single time that I boot it up. It just, it doesn't make any sense why why I gotta be so slow about this. Anyway, we can uh, Onoris this guy, or this would be the perfect chance to break the Milarepa. This would be the, the opportunity to do this, so goodbye Milarepa. You have, um, you've served us well. Been one of the best weapons that I've ever used. Cav Effective Axe Reaver. As a, as a PRF, that's a good weapon. That was a good weapon. I'm, I'm going to miss the Milarepa. I could have earned it. I thought about earning it several times, but never did, so. That's just how that's gonna be. Um, Sylvan can kill, the, kill this guy free with a bow, so. Oh, actually, not so free. Um, hmm. Let's see, can I, can't quite step in range to do that. I guess what I'll do... Hmm, we're actually getting close to the end of this map. I was going to cut this one. Actually, how many turns are there? Because... Yeah, okay, I'll probably cut this one after this turn, because it's, starting, it's gonna, get, gonna get to be long, and I have the story and everything to read, too. Uh, let's see. You make sure to answer the question of the day, though. Who has been your favorite character in this, um, in this game? I think that my favorite character has actually been Sylvan. He's just been such a good unit, and he's also a really fun character to interact with. Of course, Wanda's best girl and all, but Sylvan has just been consistent in his abilities to destroy units and in his, um, well, I was gonna say in his abilities to not get killed by units, but he's getting hit a bunch. Um, I might need to go for the Wanda. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think is her movement, or is it nine? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I pick her up with anybody? There's no way. Um, shoot, that's really bad, actually. Sylvan is probably gonna die, actually. Um, well then. That's extremely not good. That's extremely not good. Uh, is he gonna be alright? He has 60 avoid. These guys have 100 and... Yeah, so... 25 damage. He's surviving with 1 HP off of this one. Um, this one, if it hits him, will kill him, but it's a really low hit rate at this point. Um, so I've kind of got to hope for a, a, a thing to happen there. Winifred, do you survive either of them? You survive both of them, coincidentally. So what I could do is I could dance for Parvati, uh, kill the Shaman, and then shoot the one that would kill Sylvan with um, somebody else. I'll use the strike room from 3 range because, yeah, heck W, I'm physically able to do that, so I must do that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty set between Wanda and Sylvan as my favorites. I, I've enjoyed basically every character in this act, though. Every character's been pretty fun to interact with all the way around. Um, let me ensure that this is the case, though, because this is 25 damage. He has 16 plus 10 res, so it's 26 um, combined ability to survive. Okay, so then we'll just shoot that one. Um, this has L-Fire, she's got Strike Rune, so it's no big deal. 
great bow. I'll probably just at Atalanta, to be honest. I really, really want to ensure that this kills. Or could I use the silver bow from up close? Yeah, if she gets hit, she dies, so I'm just gonna use the Atalanta. I've been using the legendary bow a lot, but it's been very fun. Well, sure shot would have been nice to know about. Although it wouldn't have really mattered that much. Uh, let's see. So anybody else have to move? Just these two. I will... Let's see, I think... Yeah, she has an elixir, so let's get her down here, and they can use that next turn. Um, and then I'm gonna have to fly, rescue, drop Atticus up there. Uh, and then I think we're good to go. We'll see how this enemy phase plays out before we call it. Yep, perfect. Surviving. Well, he even dodged, so that's very nice. Good job, Sylvan. Very good at not dying, as I was saying earlier. Very, very cool. Some promoted enemies coming our way. Yep, more reinforcements. Very good place to call it, I, I believe. Physics, sleep. Luckily, we're in range with the Onoris and all, but that, that will be for next time. So, like I said, make sure to answer the question of the day. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode of Fire Emblem The Lonely Mirror. Uh, if you want to play it for yourself, link is in the description below. Very, very fun hack. One of the most fun hacks I've ever played, honestly. Um, I, I have a lot in store for this game in the future, so do make sure to, you know, keep watching, stay subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss new episodes and all that. And until next time, I'll see you later.